Hey what's up guys, A to Z of C64 Hidden Gems time again. I'm OSG and I'll be taking you through what I would consider the 10 best hidden gems beginning with H. Unlike the letters before, up until doing this list, I had never played any of these games. But now I have, I'm wondering why I didn't as there are some real crackers in this list. So let's dive straight into the A to Z of C64 Hidden Gems beginning with H in order of greatness. Kicking this off in 10th place is Helter Skelter. Now I'll start by saying that the first few games of this you'll be thinking what the hell, as the controls are hard to get used to, but once you do get used to them, and believe me you will, the game becomes awesome, but still really hard. Ninth place is taken by Harvey Smith's Shore Jumper. Yeah, a truly uninspiring name, but I tell you that this is a great game. A unique game that has some lovely horse animation, and it's so addictive. When I fired this up while collating this list, I didn't have high hopes, but I was pleasantly surprised. Harold Hardland is in 8th position, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce the rest of the title, but it translates to the battle for clean teeth. This is an advertising game for Colgate, but it's not only that, it's also a brilliant little game as you travel around the mouth fighting off germs and plaque. Yeah, it's a weird one, but a good one too. In 7th place we have Heartland. This is a nifty looking adventure game. The graphics on the main character are lovely. The controls are a bit fiddly at the start for going through doors but you quickly get used to them and then the game becomes enjoyable while still being challenging enough to last a while. Sixth place goes to Heavenbound. The more I delve into the C64 catalogue, the more it surprises me at just how many great platform games there were on the system. This one definitely falls into that category, with some really nice graphics and gameplay, but be warned, this is no easy game. Hyperball is in 5th position. We have a number of futuristic sports games on the C64, with the speedball games probably being the best known, but this one is a new different concept, and one that really works. You have a team of 3, one on the floor and two with jetpacks. The aim of the game is to score into a moving target. Sounds simple, well it is. Winning however isn't so simple, but it's fun even if you don't. Fourth 
Fourth place is taken by Hectic 2. This was a late climber in the list because the more I played it, the more I fell in love with it. I love games like Benefactor on the Amiga and this sort of reminds me of that game. The goal is to get the keys and save the little guys. This is such a simple game that you could fire up and immediately play and have a lot of fun while doing so. Third place is taken by Hermetic. Warning, super hard shoot em up time. I'm sure that most of you gather that shoot em ups are my favourite genre, and for me, the harder the better, but this one had me seething while trying to get the footage. So much so I nearly took it off the list, but I never give up and I revisited it a few more times and found it to be a memory game much like Delta. Once you know where the enemies are going, it's not so tough, but it is really good. It's just missing the sound effects with the music though. Hopeless is in second position. This is a huge space exploration game and one that is basic to look at but it has great gameplay and music. It's a Dutch game and one that I can't find the manual anywhere online but I gather that the object of the game is to move around the galaxies and kill planets. Commodore user only gives this 2 out of 10 but I don't know where they got that score from because this is definitely an 8 out of 10 for me. And now in first place we have Heli Rescue. This is Choplifter meets Fort Apache meets Space Taxi. I actually think that this takes all the good elements out of those three games and perfectly combines them into one perfect 8-bit helicopter rescue game. Ok that's it for H, it's been a blast doing this episode as all of the games were new to me so I felt like a 12 year old kid again. Let me know in the comments below if you know any of any hidden gems beginning with H and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time this is OSG, signing out.